have your people, your own people, barely making ends meet, naked on the streets, no food, no nothing, and you are there talking about, I mean, going to, you want to come and teach Rwanda what to do or change what is in Rwanda. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, Paul Kagame is one of the presidents here in Africa who has been receiving sharp criticisms from uh, the US, the UK, or rather from the West countries. And Paul Kagame has been bold enough to lecture anybody who tries to advise him on what he needs to do. Lately, we have noticed or witnessed a, a scenario where Paul Kagame and uh, William Bruto appear not to be on the same page, matters policy. And the issue of Rwanda DRC, when uh, William Bruto appointed Uhuru Kenyatta, the idea was that Uhuru was going to rein in on that issue and bring uh, peace, you know, between the, 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 the warring factions. And a report was supposed to be submitted to, I think, uh, the East African community, if I'm not wrong, and then there is a joint forces. So, in a video that was shared by Gabriel Oguda, Paul Kagame made some very disturbing statements, which most people believe could have been directed to William Ruto. So I want us to go through that statement extensively and get to understand the words there. Because 80% of those people have who have reacted to that video seems to believe that the message could have been directed to William Ruto. Your people, your own people, barely making ends meet. 20% still objected. But we know that the 20% the, the could be from people who don't support uh, Azimio and, and you know those other uh, teams. But the 20% could be people who support uh, William Ruto. So any of the two groups could be telling the truth. So I want us to go deeper into that video. But before you do that, allow me to welcome you again to this channel and encourage you to support this channel by subscribing and liking. Mind you, if you like this video, YouTube does magic and shares the video to so many other people who are not part of our audience. So, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So, I was telling you about a video which Gabriel Oguda shared, and uh, that video, I would like us to go through it uh, extensively. But before we do that, let me share the video so that you can get acquainted with what Paul Kagame said. So, watch this video. Of your people, your own people, barely making ends meet, naked on the streets, no food, no nothing, and you are there talking about, I mean, going to, you want to come and teach Rwanda what to do or change what is in Rwanda, with what? You know, for them, once the pocket is full, for, for them, the rest of the country, their own people can go to hell. That's what we see around. Instead of thinking of uh, changing what is in Rwanda, why, why don't you change what is in your own country? First of all, that is not correct. Secondly, it is even impossible for you to have your people, your own. Very well. Now, let me take you back a bit to a, a certain comment that uh, Paul Kagame made previously when he was addressing the concerns of BBC. You no, know, because it is more or less related to the lecture that uh, Paul Kagame has given in the video that I just shared. So, during that time, I think it could have been last year or last year, but one, but I think it's last year, there was a BBC journalist by the name Ansoi. And I, I believe you know Ansoi is a Kenyan uh, journalist who works for the BBC. So, he had asked Paul Kagame issues related to Rwanda's political matters. And according to Paul Kagame, that was 
BBC attempting to intrude in the local politics of Rwanda. So the response that Paul Kagame issued there, you know, because the topic was uh, about values. So in that response from Paul Kagame, he told Ansoy that nobody in BBC or the West can tell Rwandese people or the Rwandan president about values. Um, as chair of the Commonwealth, um, I wonder what your priority will be, uh, especially in terms of upholding the values of democracy and human rights. Who defines the values? Or who doesn't actually have values? I want to put this case clear. Values, values, values. What values do you know, my dear sister? on behalf of BBC. So, I want to assure you, there is nobody in the BBC or anywhere else there about who would be holding values better than we do here in Rwanda. You know, values. One of the things that I think Paul Kagame does not subscribe to is the issue of LGBTQ. That's why he told them that none of them knows about values of Africa, especially values of Rwandese. So on to the video regarding what Paul Kagame, which many people seem to believe could have been directed to William Bruto. Kenya is currently being faced with a lot of hardship and uh, going by what is happening, it is evident that people are not happy with the government and the government is not giving a listening ear to the people. So these issues could have been the reasons that prompted Paul Kagame to make that kind of response. And in his response, if you're very keen, you must have, you must have, must, must have noticed that he is telling that particular president not to interfere in the Rwanda's affairs because ata kwake kumemshinda na hata ya Rwanda hawezi remember if you are very keen you know how Rwanda, uh, Paul Kagame took over the presidency of Rwanda and Paul Kagame by the way has been hailed by the US sometimes back there Kwamba is the fastest growing economy especially in East Africa that was a credit that was given to Paul Kagame. But this credit Iliisha Wakati uh, Paul Kagame started to make firm stance and said that he could not subscribe to the West. Of course we know that in Kenya the West supports William Ruto. We, that's, what, that's something that we know. We know that that's the case. We know that the moment they will fall out they will stop supporting him and they will criticize his government. So that is what they are doing to the uh, to Paul Kagame. So Paul Kagame could have also realized that ah, So that's the reason why maybe Paul Kagame could have made that statement in the video that i've shared and that statement is bold enough and uh, going by the content of that statement you can say uh, comfortably that paul kagame did not miss his words ladies and gentlemen what do you make of that video i want you to take one second go below the comment section and tell me whether from the video you also believe that that message could have been directed to william samairuto take your time and respond i need you to respond and then we'd like to see your responses because 80 percent believe it's a, a, a message to william bruto but 20 percent believe it's not so the 80 could be we could as well say the 80 maybe Likonia Zimio and other people within maybe rwanda the 20 percent we could say maybe niwatu from uh, uh uda who may be differed with uh, with uh, with wanted to differ with uh, that uh uh, statement from Paul Kagame. Just go below the comment section and offer your reaction. Now, perhaps if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed,
take one second and subscribe give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell it's so important if you do so until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed